Okay, so uh, we've seen a lot of things on the internet, and um, thought I'd do a discussion or just just raise some points. Um, you know, see what people out there think. Um, a lot of things about 3D printers. 3D printers. We're all being told that 3D printers will, at some point, become um, household objects. Does every household have have one? Um, so, you know, we've seen a lot of, you know, what they can do at the moment, uh, but, you know, they're about 15, 20 grand at the moment, I don't know how much the stuff, the dust or whatever it is, makes stuff out of costs, you know, and, and they're still, you know, they're still at quite a basic stage, but, you know, not quite, the, 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 some of the things I've seen, you know, with moving parts and gears and stuff like that, are actually printed, you know, actually all put together, you know, it, it's actually incredibly genius. Um, I'm quite, I'm thinking, wow, I want one, I want one. But you know, when they're a bit cheaper, and hopefully better. So, but what I'm thinking about is, you know, my own um, area of geekdom. Um, you know, what is that, how is that going to change? How is that going to affect things? How, you know, you know, toys, toys, Hasbro toys, look at these lovely, lovely Transformers, here's animated swindle, he's really, he's, 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 he's lovely, um, made by, you know, an engineered combination of Hasbro, Takara, Duda, what's it, but yeah, aren't they brilliant, they're brilliant, but, you know, how is this going to affect things, if, if people can just print them out, if you can just print them out, you don't need to go to the toy shop or whatever, you don't need to do whatever, you could just, if someone designs it, if someone thinks of it, and someone designs it, you can print it, you can pretty much print it. So how is that going to affect things like, you know, the toy industry, um, I mean, already we've seen a rise, you know, in third party Transformers, but, you know, so if, if those third party Transformers, from rather than, you know, packaging them out and shipping people, just give people the designs to stuff, you know, you know, just buy a design of them, and then you print it out yourself and make it yourself, paint it yourself, maybe, or maybe, you know, hopefully, in the future, you know, 3D printers will actually be able to do different colours. So, you know, it, it's it's a very yeah. I'm not sure how the industry is gonna gonna cope with this. They're gonna cope with this. You know, when I was a kid, I used to do a lot of games workshop stuff. You know, collect all the all the miniatures and stuff like that. And, you know, but I just got, got to a stage where it's just you know too expensive, too you know time consuming or whatever. But if if I can just go all right. Uh, you know, get me army, design it, colour it in, and then print it off. I mean, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? I mean, the thing about possibilities, the possibilities of just customization of personalization of things. You know what I mean? I could get, uh, I could print off a head for my masterpiece Grimlock that looks like my head. Grimlock can have my head. That's isn't that marvelous? Isn't that marvelous? I don't know. Um, you know, maybe you know. If you can think about a way of customising things, I mean, I love this, um, let's get Sergeant Cup down for a second. Sergeant Cup, hello, hello, how are you? So the third part, they, they've released, you know, an additional add-on set of extra heads for Cup. And they've given him this rather charming, you know, we can focus down here. If I hide my, if I hide my head behind it, maybe it'll focus on it. This rather charming, um, head with a cigar. Or Saigar, as it's called in the world of Transformers. Um, yeah, so they, they did that for the right one. But if I can just, you know, think of an idea, go, oh, I don't like this figure's hands, so I'll just print off some more different hands for him. You know, I just adjust them, make better hands, make them so we hold on to different, we make different weapons for him, whatever you know. And so how are companies going to? How are they going to hold up to that? How 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 is this? So, really, my I my is it just a discussion or am I just asking questions? I'm just asking questions. I want answers, man. I want answers. What are your answers? How so? From this video, how do you think 3D printers are going to revolutionise toys and model making industry? That's my question. Especially and and also, if um, you wanted to do some kind of transformer customization, 
modelization, what would you, what, what would be the first thing that you, if you got a 3D printer, what would be the first thing you'd make? Okay, so, I'm asking the questions. Someone give me the answers. Mm-hmm. <laughs>